Okay, the next type of graph we're going to talk about is creating a column graph, or what we call a bar graph, but Excel calls a column graph, or a histogram, for our qualitative data. And what we're going to do is the same idea. We're going to highlight that, that frequency table we made before, and we're going to insert a column graph. Now you notice this is what we technically refer to as bar charts, but Excel refers to a bar chart as one where the bars go horizontally instead of vertically. So we want to use that column chart and we want to use that very first option under 2D column. And this makes a great bar chart. Now there's a couple things we do want to change. First we want to change the title just like we changed the, in the pie chart option. And frequency isn't a really great title so we're going to change that again. Type of animal. Now you'll notice there are no labels on either my x-axis or my y-axis. And I do want to add some labels. So what I'm going to do is go to the Layout tab on the top and choose Axis Titles. And you can choose on the horizontal axis, it says None, but I want to put a title below the axis. So I'm going to put a title below, and you can type Type of Animal. And I also want to add a title on the vertical axis. Now there's a couple options for the vertical axis, but normally we choose rotated title. That's what we're used to seeing. And that's the frequency of the animals, how many showed up. And you can also see over here is what is called a legend. We don't really need that. So you can turn that off in the legend tab. It's not something that's necessary. It's not really giving us any more information. Now the same thing can be done. You can change the colors if you want to be creative. But this is what's referred to as a bar chart. Because the bars are not touching, I'll keep them right. If we want to turn this into a histogram, which the only technical difference is in a histogram, the bars do touch. They get really fat, so they're actually right up against each other. I, it's a very easy thing to do. I'm going to click on the bars so they all have these little dots around them. We want to make sure they all have those dots around them. And then I'm going to right click and say Format Data. And a little box is going to come up. And the only thing I need to play with is what's called the gap width. And I want to turn that down all the way to zero so there's no gap. And you can notice, you can see what behind, what happened to my bars. Now they're real fat and they touch. So now I have what's technically called a histogram instead of a bar chart. And that's the only real difference. And again, these can also be copied and pasted right into Word, and I do recommend you do that. Uh, it's the easiest way to get them in there. They talk real well. Excel and Microsoft Word work real well together. We could just do a paste and send it in there.